In today's session, we will see the fundamentals of Python programming, guys. Okay, so when it comes to the fundamentals of programming, you have to be aware of identifiers, keywords, comments, and basic data types. Okay, so today session, we will talk about all these things. So basically, what is an identifier? Like any program you take, not only Python, any program you take, any language program you take, any program, it contains variables, it contains functions, it contains classes, okay? Like this variables, functions, classes, we will be denoted using some names. The name given by all these things is nothing but identifier. Okay, identifier can be a variable name. Identifier can be a class name. Identifier can be a function name. Okay, so but as of now, you people are completely new to this Python. Like you may be not aware of what is class name, what is function name. Okay, so let's make our discussion to the variable. What is a variable? For example, if I want to take a value a is equal to 10, okay, like this a is a variable. On top of it, the a is a identifier. It means identifier can be a variable name or it can be a class name, it can be a function name. Okay, this a is equal to 10 is a variable. On top of variable, it is an identifier. Like we have certain rules to define those variables, guys. Okay, so we are not making our discussion to the functions and classes at this point of time. Okay, we are strictly, we are making our discussion to the variable only. I'll take A is equal to 10, I'll take, that is my variable. So rules to define variables, you can say, rules to define identifiers, but as of now, we are concentrating on only variables, rules to define variables, concentrate guys. So what it says, alphabets, Digits, underscore symbol are only allowed to use. Like for example, now I'm taking my DLE, you can see. Now I'm, I can use A is equal to 10. I can use. I can use underscore symbol I can use. I hope everyone of you already installed Python in your system. You can see, I'll take, you can see this. I can use numbers I can use. I can use underscore symbol I can use. Okay, I can use alphabets I can use. Okay, these are all the rules. What I cannot use, special symbols are not allowed to use. Special symbols are not allowed to use. Special symbols are not allowed to use. Now, for example, let's see, special symbols means like when I'm trying to use dollar, a dollar is equal to 10. Okay, when I'm trying to use this, you can see it says, Syntax errors, it says, guys. You can see, you can observe very carefully. Mm -hmm. Everyone, you're able to understand. It is saying syntax error. So, special symbols are not allowed. Okay. And identifiers should not start with a digit. It says very clearly we can use digits, but you cannot start with a digit. So, when we start with digit, let's see what will happen. Now, for example, I'm taking 1a is equal to I just want to take it like this. You can see it gives you syntax error. It will give you. it gives you syntax error. Everyone, you are able to understand this. Is it clear? Discussion is okay. So you cannot you cannot give it like this. It gives you syntax error. And identifiers are case sensitive. Identifiers are case sensitive. Python itself is case sensitive, guys. Okay. So whenever you take like. I'm taking A is equal to 10. I'm taking capital A is equal to 100. Capital A is equal to 100 I'm taking. Like now, when you take A is equal to 100, capital A is equal to 1000 when you take. Okay, so both will be treated as two different objects. You can see. Okay, so like we have ID, that is an address. Address of small a will be different from address of capital A. Both will be treated as two different objects, guys. That you need to remember. Python is case sensitive. Python is case sensitive. Okay. So capital A and small letters will be different. 
and you cannot use keywords you cannot use as an identifiers like what are these keywords these keywords are the reserved words to represent some meaning or some functionality okay some meaning or some functionality it will represent you cannot use them so now what are the keywords available i'll show you let me open this ideally like if i want to show you what are the keywords available you can see we'll say import import keyword keyword dot kw what is this import and all at this point of time you may be not aware guys but don't worry okay you can see you can see these are all the keywords available this keywords is already representing some meaning but when you try to define it as a variable it won't use it it won't allow us you can see it won't allow us why because it is already it represented some meaning you cannot use them as a keywords okay so these are all the second rules the keywords are the reserved words which already has some meaning you cannot use them okay apart from true false none all contains lower case letters only a point to be noted and next we can see comments what are these comments comments what are these comments like see guys like any programming like any project you take like that can be that can be like while writing the code there will be never there will be different people will be there okay different different people will be there and many people will be there so whatever the code and thousand lines of thousands of lines of code will be there so whatever the lines of code you are writing that lines of code it has to be it has to make sense to the other other code developer so okay so that is where the comments came into existence like see whatever the code i write that has to be understanding by other code developer okay so for example you can see guys here now what i will do i'll take a new file i'm just naming this like here you can see i'll take a is equal to 10 i'll take b is equal to 20 i'll say print a plus b else i'll say print a plus b now let me execute this okay i got 30 i got right now my dear people now you can observe carefully what now what i will do is i'll take hash i'll say i'll say very clearly this is variable variable a i'll say this is variable b okay i'll say this is the sum okay now let me execute this you can see we got the 30 only see if you want to give comments in python you have to use hash and you have to write this is single line comment okay in the similar way if i want to write multiple lines multiple paragraphs i want to explain if that is my intention like see i need to use triple quotes this is multi line comment you can see this okay if it is single line comment you have to use hash and you can write that comment if it is multiple lines multi line comment you have to use triple quotes you have to use that can be double triple quotes or single triple quotes it will work so this is about comments this is also very basic fundamental concept you must be aware of it is it clear everyone okay next apart from this comments next we have basic data types basic data types int float complex boolean like my dear people like the speciality of python data types i already discussed now you can take a is equal to 10 if you take you are not mentioning what type of data it is why because python data types are dynamically typed 
dynamically type okay we are not going to mention what type of data it is it is going to support int let's see quickly we can see how it is going to support you can see guys a is equal to 10 we are not mentioning what type of data it is okay if you want to see what type of data it is if you don't believe it is an integer you can use type function and you can get it is going to int is going to supporting uh and at the same time i will take b is equal to 2.5 i'll take okay now you can see type of b it's going to support float also at the same time we also have boolean in boolean we have true and false we have okay type of c if i say it says boolean and in python you need to remember one thing true represents value 1 false represents value 0 now you can also perform the arithmetic operations also you can you can perform this you can multiply you can you can you can do all these things also you can do using this operators you can do like like in the next session we will be talking about operators okay but we can apply these operators in this uh, like boolean data types also in the float boolean apart from this like we also have complex data types See, complex numbers will be in the form of what complex numbers then like usually when it comes to the complex numbers we usually we have it in our mathematics a plus bi format right okay so where the imaginary number where you're trying to find the native square root okay so then the complex numbers will come into the place right okay so now a plus bi it you it will be in the form of a plus bi but in python but in python like for example, if I want to represent two plus four i, it won't take guys. Why? Because there is no particular reason for it. So in Python, the like the representation of uh, representation of complex numbers will be in the form of a plus b j. Okay, some some number into okay. Like you can see now, b is equal to three plus three plus 4j if i take it will work properly you can see this they want to make it unique that's it there is no particular reason for it. there is complex numbers okay so quick recap what i just want to what i discussed in this in this session so you have basic fundamentals you need to learn fundamentals of python programming we started so as part of python basic fundamentals of python programming we talked about we talked about identifier Okay, rules to define the identifier, rules to define identifier. At this point of time, we checked all the rules of a variable. Okay, so next we discussed about keywords. What are the keywords that are available? Okay, next comments and next basic data types. Okay, so apart from this basic data types, we also have few more data types that we will be discussing in the coming sessions. So as part of fundamentals, we need to learn operators also. So that also I'll be discussing in the next coming session i'll be discussing okay so i hope this is very clear to you people thank you